Hey guys and welcome to on yet another YouTube unboxing or a YouTube episode. And on this episode, that's right, just like you saw in the last episode, box lunch. I went to box lunch. I went to Hot Topic, and I before that I stopped at uh, a place, a Japanese store, grocery store that says the size of CVS is called Kimchi Mart. And yeah, let's get to the unboxings. First off, yo, I already opened it by the way. As you can see, this is a matcha latte. It's very popular in Japan. And yeah, they had a lot of stuff that I see on those Japanese videos when people go travel to Japan. And the locals in Japan and all that. But basically, it's just matcha latte on these little sachets. You just add the powders in there. You just kind of like pour it onto the hot water. And that's that. And you got yourself matcha latte. The, everything's in Japanese, by the way. Yep, that's that. Uh, this is a very popular, what's supposedly the Japanese version of Funko Pops. Let me see if I can zoom in. It's from Bandai. From Bandai. I haven't seen the anime to this, but I'm going to watch it today. My friend's lending me the the series. Everything's in Japanese because, you know, they tend, the lunchbox and, and um, Hot Topic tend to sell things from Japan. Here's the English, uh, I the English subtitle, where, you know, the English sticker that tells you everything that's in Japanese here in English. And, you know. Let's open it up, see what we get inside. Because to tell you the truth, I've never opened one of these before, so. That's pretty cool. Nothing inside the box. So basically you get the stand, which is like a black plastic stand. And you get the little action figure girl. Oh, you could... Can you? Uh, okay, yes. Yeah, just You could kind of move her, but not completely. But look at the details. This, the glasses and all. I thought these were, you know, DJ headsets. So I was like, oh look, it's a Japanese girl with glasses that's a DJ just like me. Yeah. Detail's pretty cool. And then you just kind of put her here. There we go. That's her right there. The next thing I got was another Funko Pop. I mean, um, an actual Funko Pop. I never had one of these before. Asuka. This is another anime that my friend is going to lend me so I can start watching. You know, I said, you know, it's my first Funko Pop. I might as well, you know, I've never had one of these before. I see a lot of people collecting them. And, well, these Funko Pop... Oh, wait a minute. This Funko Pop... This Funko Pop as well comes with a... A stand, only this one's clear compared to the first one I unboxed. This one has, of course, the Funko Pop head. That's the popular thing in the little body.
Yeah. And last but not least, I've got a Pikachu model kit straight from Japan. They had this there. I think it was Lunchbox, I think it was. Yeah, it must have. Yeah, it was Lunchbox, I believe. It's the one that had this all the way in the back. I saw a couple of model kits or one or two, and I saw this. I said, oh, I got to get this. I'm a big fan of Pikachu, guys. The more Pikachu, the better. Let's unbox it and see what we get. An interesting unboxing, though. It just has this thing on it. Anyways, it says here on the box, no glue or painting required. And it says that you can move his ears and his tail and his hands. Which is pretty cool. And it's also, oh look, it's also from Bandai. Yeah, I guess, and here's what the sides look like. It's also in, uh, uh, okay, yeah, it's in Japanese also, and then they have the English sticker label thingy, whoa, wasn't expecting this, holy cow, looks like I have a lot of building to build, looks like I have a lot to build. <laughs> There's a sticker for his eyes, I guess, and his nose and all that. Oh, this is pretty cool. And then you get, like, some type of little pamphlet here. Oh, like, oh, right, the instructions. It's just the instructions on how to build Pikachu. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. I don't really got anything much else to unbox. But, on the next episode, like I said on my last episode, I ordered the Pioneer DDJ400. I probably, I, I, I said it, but I kind of cut off. I don't know what happened with the video, but anyways... Uh, I'm, I'm going to be getting that, not Monday, which is tomorrow, because tomorrow's Labor Day, and, you know, shipping doesn't work on Labor Day, so Tuesday I'll be getting it, I'll be doing that unboxing of the Pioneer DDJ400, the, the one from the Gold Edition, so tune in on Tuesday if I have time, when I come back from work, hopefully I don't work on Tuesday so I could get it do the unboxing and edit it and upload it to YouTube. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Always remember to comment, like, share, and subscribe. See you later.